I'm Brad. How are you, mate? I'm going for more the big picture questions here. George. Big picture, okay. Beaming a signal around the globe. Direct from New York City. New York City. It's Brad Blanks. George R. R. Martin, how are you, sir? I'm good. Yeah, life must be pretty good for you right now. It is. It is pretty good. Yeah. 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 You take me back like 25 years ago. Did you think it'd pan out like this? You'd be on a red carpet with the fourth season of your show. 25 years ago. Let me see. What year? What, what year would that be? Oh, That's, no, uh, 89. 80, 89. Uh, you know, in 89, I was thinking about that. You really? Know? Oh, yeah. 89. I was. Uh, in the middle of my 10 years in television. I went from the mid 80s to the mid 90s. I uh, worked in television yeah. and by 89, uh, I was on Beauty and the Beast. Right. It was winding down yeah. and I was getting a, a big development deal. So I did have the dream, well, I'll create a pilot, I'll get my own yeah. show, I'll, it'll be a big hit, it'll be on the air. <laughs> 20 years late. This young lady here, um, Khaleesi, did you, yes. did you think she'd turn out this beautiful when you thought of her and wrote her to paper? Oh, she was pretty beautiful in my imagination. Yeah, she yeah, was? She was, yes. Did it match up good when you saw the actress walk in the door? Amelia, of course, has dark hair. And the Khaleesi has the, the silver blonde yeah. hair. So I wouldn't say when she walked in the door she was an exact match, but she was so amazingly talented. And when she put on the wig, uh, you know, she was Daenerys. Right, and it worked out for you? Yeah, very much. Very much. How do you go? These guys are getting quite prolific at making the show. Aren't you going to run out of books very soon? I certainly hope not. Right. How's that strategy looking? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I write a page at a time. That's all you can do. Yep. And the television script, if you've ever seen them, they're 60 pages long. Yep. Absolutely. My books are 1,500 pages long. Yep. <laughs> Takes a little longer to write one <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. than to write a script. So uh, I don't know how to, how to deal with that except write one page at a time just keep going and, and eventually you reach the end and where do you keep tapping in for the new ideas how does your brain work is it a bottle of vodka before you sit down at the computer <laughs> no i don't think so i don't think so i don't know it just seems to work i hope it keeps on working gotcha is it but where do you get the thought from though you know these these characters that are so rich well i steal someone from history right. but uh history is a huge inspiration you know i'm always reading a lot of history and you know, as my wife will tell you, I, I look up from the book and say, listen to this, yeah. you can't make this stuff up. No, and then I figure, how can I file off the serial numbers and, uh, and make it my own? But, uh, so like, uh, you know, the Red Wedding, for example, was based on the famous Black Dinner of Scotland and the Glencoe Massenter, also of Scotland. They were very bloody in Scotland. Right, yeah. <laughs> so they gave me a lot of great material. So you take a few things, you combine them, you make it your own. But a lot of it's just imagination. That's what being a writer is all about. You hope you have the ideas. And well, what did you think of the South Park episodes um, when they spoofed your wonderful self? You know, I, I've, I have them TiVo'd, but I actually haven't watched them yet. <laughs> yeah, right. But I, I hear they're very funny. But but the Floppy Wiener song was a hit. <laughs> Was it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it seems to be, I think they're making a point there's a lot of floppy... There's something about a pizza coming, I know that, right. uh, you know, which is probably accurate. I like pizza. Right. I just went on a pizza crawl right. through Brooklyn a few okay, days ago, yeah. yeah. So you haven't heard about the floppy wieners yet? Well, I heard something about that, yeah, but I don't know if that's really on target, but... No, uh, <laughs> Well, uh, you're a good fella, and uh, I'm proud of you. Well, thank you. Good thank you. Yeah. Yeah. What's RR stand for? My middle names. What are they? <laughs> oh, well, that would be telling. Yeah, right, all right.